Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior character artist. In this particular Tips and Tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Multi Map Exporter plugin in ZBrush. Uh, this is a particular uh, Juggernaut Orc that I made for another uh, 3D Motive series. So I thought it'd be a perfect one to be able to illustrate the multi mesh multi map exporter uh, properties. As you can see, I have quite a number of different um, sub tools. If I were to try and render out all these maps individually, it would take me a while. Um, with just the head alone, you know, you have to do several different steps. I'd have to drop drop the mesh down like for the normal map I'd have to do you know shift D go all the way down then I have to export the normal map and then I'd have to export the displacement map on the uh, model itself I could simply go to texture map and new from poly paint get my map and clone it and go over here and export it etc etc so I could do that individually but you know when you've got a number of different sub tools, probably close to 20, 22 sub tools, somewhere around there. It would really be a lot of work. Uh, luckily, ZBrush has something that will help cure that. Thank goodness for that. Let's go ahead and look at the Z plugin palette. I'm going to go ahead and click this little icon to dock it. And right here, we have multi map exporter. Let me go ahead and close this tool. Uh, palette just for now. Let's go ahead and click on the multi map exporter button. And here's the different maps you can turn around and export at the same time. You can do the displacement map, normal map, the poly paint texture map, you could do an ambient occlusion map, cavity map, you could even export the mesh if you wanted to. Okay. What you need to look for is map size. Well, they have presets already set for you, 512, 1024, 2048, and it'll turn around and render them out at all. Uh, at that, uh, they'll, they'll render them all out for every single subtool at 2048. It does it for all of them at the same time. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure we want to flip V. This is a 3D Studio Max model, so we need to flip the vertical on it. Okay. For the file names, now, right now, it's going to save it out in TIFFs, and that's fine. I'm okay with TIFFs being uh, saved out. The suffix, this is the map type suffix. The, the displacement map will have DM. Normal map will say NM. Texture map is TM. Uh, ambient occlusion is AO, of course, for ambient occlusion. And cavity map is CV. Uh, we don't have to touch anything with that. that. That's the default. We don't want to mess with it, and that's fine. Okay. Uh, all we have to do now at this point is just just to test this out. Let's test this out. Is we're going to go ahead and check our uh, create all maps button, and this will be like okay. Well, where are you saving this to? So I've created a folder that I can save everything in. It's already giving me what it's going to be called, and I'm going to be like okay with that. So I'm just going to hit save, and it's reading it through right now. As you can see it. There it is. It's one, two, three, and there you go. It took 21 seconds. If I go to Photoshop and I open all three of these, there's my diffuse color texture. There's my normal map for it. There's my displacement map for it. Makes it really simple, really easy. Now in ZBrush, of course, you know, Again, I, I, that made it easy for me to do out one map, but I want to do all of my subtools now at this point, okay? And it may take a few, but it will turn around and do it. So let's go ahead and now click this button here for subtools. That means all of my subtools are going to get rendered. And let's go ahead and click create all maps. Yes, we're going to overwrite. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it's running it through. It may take a little bit. I'll let you know how long it took uh, when it's done. I just turned uh, the recording back on just so you guys can see. It's actually running through each and every subtool 
it's funny, it's, here's the chains. It's just dropped the chains down to the lowest subdivision so it can render out the normal map and the displacement map. And it's actually been running through. It actually did the face first, then it did the teeth, the tusks, the eyes, the tongue, dropped everything down to the lowest subdivision, did the export, and now it's actually starting to work its way right through. It's great. Anyway, I just thought, it, th th thought that would be cool to, to show you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and let it continue. Okay, so it ended up taking a total of 8 minutes and 37 seconds. So that's not bad to do all those different uh, subtools. Let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. And as you can see, here's the long list of them. Here you go. This is everything done. All the different pieces for the weapons. This particular model, uh, actually, the texture sheet, there's, I think, five texture sheets in all on this particular model. So... Um, if this was all one texture, I could have actually merged uh, in ZBrush. You could have actually merged the maps, but in this case, because it's uh, five different textures, it wouldn't have done it. I'm just looking at the shorts. And there's the normal maps for the shorts, and there is the displacement map for them. So again, this is just the the easy way to render out all your maps really nicely, really nicely indeed got everything done in one shot it took about eight minutes but if I had if I had had to do that by hand it would have taken quite a considerably longer than that so being able to do that in eight minutes that's just fantastic and it gives me all the maps as I need them and then I can turn around and combine them myself uh, within Photoshop depending on of course you know which which uh, pieces went to which texture map like I said, I think there were five or maybe six. I think it was five textures in all. But uh, there you go. Uh, very nicely and easily done. Let's take a quick gander at the orc body, see how that came out. Oops. So that's, you know, that's the head. All right. So let's go for the orc body here. Oops, I'm still working on the head. Sorry, I just grabbed the wrong ones. There we go armor body that's it okay so this was the the body and you can see the legs were separate and the arms were separate didn't actually have a hand on one of them but they did have a glove and you can zoom in you can see it captured everything beautifully that's that's everything that was hand painted on this model there's the normal maps for them and then of course the displacement map I mean it's beautiful it comes out great so anyway so that's a uh, multi map exporter in ZBrush it's it's a great tool especially if you're dealing with a lot of sub tools and want to you know want, don't want to have to deal with exporting maps individually the multi map exporter is the way to go it just saves you a lot of time and hassle anyway I hope you've enjoyed this this has been Stephen G Wells for 3dmotive.com and thanks for watching